What if I told you that deep in the Amazon rainforest, there's a tiny organism that could solve one of humanity's biggest problems? A fungus that literally eats plastic and could help clean up the millions of tons of waste choking our planet. Picture this. Every minute, a garbage truck full of plastic waste gets dumped into our oceans. Plastic bottles take 450 years to decompose. Shopping bags take up to 1,000 years. And polyurethane, the stuff in foam cushions, car parts, and insulation, basically lasts forever. For decades, scientists have been desperately searching for solutions, spending billions of dollars on recycling programs that barely make a dent in the problem. But in 2011, a group of Yale students made an incredible discovery while studying plants in the Amazon rainforest. They found a fungus called Pestalotiopsis microspora that does something absolutely mind-blowing. It eats polyurethane plastic. And here's the really amazing part. It can do this even without oxygen, which means it could work in landfills and other places where regular decomposition can't happen. Let me break down exactly how this works because it's honestly fascinating. First, this fungus produces special enzymes that act like tiny molecular scissors. These enzymes literally cut apart the chemical bonds that hold polyurethane together. Think of it like having a microscopic demolition crew that knows exactly where to strike to bring down a building. Second, the fungus converts these broken down plastic pieces into food for itself. It's basically turning our trash into its dinner. The byproducts are completely harmless organic compounds that naturally break down in the environment. Third, and this is the game changer, it works in anaerobic conditions. That means no oxygen required. Most biological processes need oxygen to function, but this little champion can work in sealed landfills, underwater, or anywhere plastic waste gets buried and forgotten. Fourth, the process is completely natural and safe. There are no toxic chemicals involved, no harmful byproducts, and no genetic modification needed. This fungus evolved naturally over millions of years in the Amazon. Now, I know what you're thinking, this sounds too good to be true, right? I was skeptical too when I first heard about this. But here's the thing. This discovery has been peer reviewed and published in legitimate scientific journals. Researchers have replicated the results multiple times. Yale University officially documented the findings and other institutions have confirmed the fungus's plastic eating abilities. The really exciting part is what's happened since then. Scientists around the world have started experimenting with this fungus and similar organisms. Some research teams have already begun developing practical applications. We're talking about potential solutions for cleaning up plastic pollution in oceans, treating landfill waste, and even creating biodegradable plastic alternatives. Here's what I want you to do. For the next 30 days, start paying attention to how much polyurethane plastic you encounter in your daily life. Look at your furniture, your car seats, your shoes, even your kitchen sponges. Then imagine a world where all of that could be safely broken down by nature instead of sitting in landfills for centuries. Small discoveries in remote places can create massive changes for our entire planet. Sometimes the solutions we desperately need are already out there, waiting to be found in the most unexpected places.